As we get older, family members tend to move away and people then, of course, pass away as well. Yeah, it's unfortunate and you get really lonely for people who no longer have family around them on a daily basis. So this is especially the case for grandparents and older adults. Isolation can lead to depression, especially in seniors. We know that. So it's very important to check in on them and stay connected to them through phone calls, that's one way, but Skype and FaceTime, even better according to experts. Older adults who use email and social media platforms like Facebook, they have the same rate of depression as those who do not. This is according to researchers at Oregon State, but for those people who do Skype and FaceTime, they don't feel as depressed or lonely. So mom, I wanted to tell you about Sean's latest football practice. He was moved to center. And I have, we have a breakfast. Our breakfast. So this is Lisa. She FaceTimes her mother regularly. Her mother lived in Prescott, away from most of the family and felt a little disconnected. Lisa also happens to be the executive director at Lifestream Senior Living Community, and she has seen firsthand how this type of interaction can change a senior's mood. Sometimes there's a little hesitation. This population that we serve right now sometimes are a little bit hesitant, but once they realize the simplicity and once they see their grandchild's face pop up on their computer, all of a sudden they want to figure it out. Researchers say more frequently seniors got together with loved ones to lower the rates of their depression. Even years later, FaceTime, they say, is the next best, best thing. A phone call, email, not as effective according to this study. It's 526, and here's what we're working on for you for 530. We're going to check in with Gibby again as he is making his way down to the Arizona Mountains.